Okay, just a quick video today, quick but super useful. As you may or may not know, there are a lot of cool AI video platforms out there and there are more emerging every week where you can supply it with an image. It can be any image, whether it's an actual photo of you, your pet, a celebrity, or an AI generated image, say from Mid Journey. You feed it an image and it can bring the image to life. This is commonly referred to in the AI world simply as image to video. Yes, it can be a bit of a crapshoot, sometimes quite wonky. But sometimes sexy results. The thing is, with so many of these platforms out there, it can be hard to decide on just one to pay for, or maybe you don't want to pay for any of them. Come on, you cheap bastard. So what you might end up doing is just signing up for a free account on each platform. That sounds totally reasonable. A lot of these sites will allow you to generate anywhere from three to 10 videos per day, or often a monthly limit of say 30 videos a month. All of that for free, but they'll stick a watermark on your videos. All of that being said, I'm now going to show you a couple methods for removing these watermarks from your videos. Perhaps the best way to solve a problem is to not have the problem in the first place. All right, first, the easy method. Now, depending on the particular platform, they usually imprint the watermark in either the top right or bottom right corners. Luma and Hyper, for example, they place their watermark at the top right. So let's focus on that case for now. So what you wanna do is, before you upload your image to turn it into a video, open up your image in Photoshop or whatever image editing software you use and simply extend the canvas above. I typically make this extra area black, but it really doesn't matter. So then you just save your new file. Then go to your AI video platform of choice, Luma in this case, upload this new image, type in your prompt of however you want the image to animate, and then submit that. Wait a little bit. Okay, so now you've got your video, save it. This may surprise some of you, but I'm actually going to edit this video in Photoshop. <laughs> yes, believe it or not, Photoshop can actually handle video files. And occasionally I find it the quickest way to perform certain tasks. Okay, so we've got our video open and we're simply going to press C to switch to the crop tool and then shave off this top area. And that's it. Let's render the new video. You can do so by either clicking over here in the timeline panel or going up here and clicking File, Export, Render Video. Check out the result. We've got the video we want with no watermark. Sweet. Okay, so method two, a bit more complicated, but the advantage is you're getting the full resolution render instead of having to crop down a portion of it, the portion without the watermark. So for this method, we're going to use Adobe After Effects. Go ahead and upload your original image to your AI video platform of choice. Again, we'll stick with Luma Labs. Type in your prompt and let it render your video. Once you've downloaded your video, drag it into After Effects. Right click on it and choose New Comp from Selection. Okay, so now we've got a new composition that exactly matches the duration and dimensions of the original video that we dragged in. With the layer selected in the timeline window, it should be selected by default since it's the only layer in the composition. Select the mask tool. That's this button up here, or you can just press the Q key to switch to it. Then simply drag a box around where the watermark is. I would recommend giving yourself a little extra space around the watermark. So we've essentially masked out the entire video in order to only reveal the watermark, but we actually want the opposite of this. So back down in the timeline window, press M, M as in Mary, to reveal the mask properties, if this isn't already visible for you. Then instead of add, switch that to subtract. This will essentially create a blank little gap in the original video where the watermark was. Now go up to window and make sure content aware fill is checked and visible. 
With that panel open, go ahead and leave alpha expansion set to zero and fill method set to object. Simply click the generate fill layer button and let it do its thing. A couple final notes here before we wrap up. If you're doing text to video on any of these platforms, then you're not actually supplying an image to begin with, so you'd need to go with method two, which I just demonstrated in After Effects. Secondly, the free videos these platforms give you tend to be fairly low res. Especially if you use method one, the Photoshop method, you're going to be cropping in on an already low res video, so your final output is not going to be super large. If you want to upscale your videos to be something more like 1080p or 4K or even 8K, I highly recommend using a service like Topaz. Although truth be told, this is probably not for casual users as it's a bit pricey and they don't have a free tier. But on the plus side, it's a one-time purchase for Topaz Photo AI or Topaz Video AI, which is what you'd need to upscale your videos. Topaz Video AI actually has a lot of other cool features and options like being able to do super slow-mo from regular footage you give it, even if it's at a frame rate like 30 frames per second or less, but perhaps more on that another time. If you're interested in a complete walkthrough of Topaz, let me know in the comments section down below. If there's enough people interested, I will make that video sooner rather than later. But hey, if you've gotten any value out of today's video, whether it was learning that you can do some stuff quickly with video files within Photoshop, or the content aware fill within After Effects, or maybe you weren't even aware that you could turn your static images into animated videos via AI. Whatever the case, do click like on this video. It's free to do so, and it really helps this channel grow by getting this video and all the other content I'm making out there for more people to watch and learn. And of course, if you're not subscribed yet, definitely hit that subscribe button and click the bell to get notified whenever a new video gets posted. Got so much more content coming your way, including some time saving tips on web browsing, some great apps on setup that I'm yet to cover, uh, more that you can do with Better Touch Tool, and of course, iOS 18 and Mac OS Sequoia just came out. So I've got some unique tips and tricks to share with you on those fronts. All right, that's all for now. See you in the next video. to watch next.